So welcome back and today I'm going to be looking at the full SFW fleet or uh, for the most part of it and I've got Dalmont and Ghost Liger with me tonight. Anybody else? Zyrenica. And Zyrenica too. So here we are and this will be the full fleet. We're going to take a little look down the Aetherius. I'll put a link in the description for the full video on the Aetherius. The super carrier. And then we'll dip down to the uh, forward ranks. Which I believe was somewhere down here. <laughs> so then, as I make my way up there, are we going to start on the left or the right? Uh, your pick if you start on the right hand side from... I suppose if you're facing yep. the front of the ships, if you start on the right-hand side, that's the smallest. Uh, so front right would be the probe. So is that what I'm in front of? Doesn't look like a probe. Mm. Okay, taking a go down the line. Do, 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 do. Oh, shrooms. Okay, here we are. So we've got a... Yep, yeah, got it. Okay, so the first ship is the probe. The probe. Made for probing. Indeed. Anywhere you need probing, you slap one of these on your ship and then you go probe things. What's the next one? Fits in. Next one is the Alkir. It's an unarmed shuttle. Pretty much all it is. I think we've seen that before, actually. I remarked on it being vertical. Uh, quite uh, uniform, actually. Fits inside of the Silvana, the Sirius number one, and also the Ceres. The antennas are a nice touch. I love that. Okay, what's the next one? That is a worker drone for the orbital structures. Uh, I remember seeing them the other in the last video, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, very nice. It's got a nice clamper on it. <laughs> Give them the clamp. Now, if only it could close. <laughs> so, what's the next one? Next one is the SFW Skrit. Uh, basically, a little shuttle. It's actually got guns in there. Yep, yep. And uh, it's an early model. That's pretty much all there is to it. I've got a friend who's working on one of these and it's beefed up. It's quite similar, but it'll be interesting when he's finished it. Very interesting. So what was it called? The Skrit? Correct. Excellent. What's this one here? That is the Peregrine Fighter. We've seen that in a previous video. It's for the uh, Planet Wars minigame that's up and coming. Oh yeah, of course. With the standardized turrets. I remember. Very nice. It reminds me of a Warhawk, although I probably said that before. I don't recall, but it kind of does. What about this one? That is the pea shooter, and it is what the name implies. It's a pea shooter, guys. It's got four AMC groups. Come at me, bro. Okay. Oh, it's the, yes. This, this is a famous mech, this is. The mech. <laughs> the mech. I like this mech. And this has got a bit of a customization, I think, unless it's what? lit differently. Nope, um, that's just uh, the perspective. Just, yeah, it's just the crystal. Okay, moving on. What have we got here? Sunlifter, and that's also in the Planet Wars minigame video. Nice. Is this in like an APC? Uh, it's basically, yeah, it's kind of like an APC uh, transport, a sunder, if you will. Okay. Sweet. And what's up next? That would be the Helios. We just took a look at this one as well. Oh, we had a little jewel. Retro I, shuttle. I, I was in this one. <laughs> and I see the one you were in is several ships down the line. <laughs> but it's cool. I liked this ship. It handles quite nice. So take a look at the back. Right, so that's that one. What was it called again? The Helios. The Helios. I've decided I'm going to stop appending SFW for the sake of speech. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So what's this one called here? This one is the Horizon, and it's the smallest shuttle we produce with an interior. With an interior? Mmm, ye gods. Okay, right, I'm going to go and check out the interior real quick. Huh? Oh no, faction denial. Really? Yarp. 
Unless That's not factioned. Unless it's just lag. Run. Yeah, it's lag. Right. <clears throat> Got table. Four tables. And thrusters. Nice. Excellent. Not much of interior, but it is there. It qualifies. Yeah. No right. excuses. And we've got the Mini Sirius. Complete with mini turrets. Complete with mini turrets. Oh, this one looks... It's just so cool. I like mini ships. Mini ships are cool. Alright, nice. And oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, nothing left to say, really. Mini Shroom. The counterpart. In this way, it's a slight... Uh, kind of a reworked memorial. This one actually works. Oh, it right. It survived. Excellent. That's right, this one's not broken. Right then. And next, this is a pretty awesome looking one. This is the sable uh, I've dredged up another ancient relic from uh, olden times. It's kind of a experiment in making something that looked neat. I like the details on the wingtips and stuff. A bit of a departure from a traditional design philosophy. <laughs> it's even blue. Very nice. And we looked at this one in a previous video. What's the name of it? The Neptune. The Neptune. A tri-wing shuttle. And yes, it does have a small interior. Okay. And what's this one? We've looked at this the one site. before in the Planet yep. Wars. That is correct. Sorry, I had a little go flying across the uh, planet. That was fun. Just, just going to check out the detail on the back here. Excellent. It looks grand. Okay, and last on the front row is... This is actually the racer. Uh, when you mentioned that you wanted to do a kind of more not so regatta type race yeah, yeah. this is what came out Excellent. i was I, this actually comes in about five six different colors oh immense immense that's perfect we should do it standardized have everyone in these just for the tests yeah definitely that was the general idea behind it is uh perfect. make standardized racing a thing perfect nice and then obviously if people want to submit their own, we can do free-for-all like, races as well. But I'll just, you know, take the stats from this, I guess, for size, thrust, etc. Unless, well, yeah, like I say, up for discussion. Now, where am I going? Uh, we're going to actually go back, back down the line. Back down the line. To the right-hand side and start again. Right then, what's this beauty? This is the Delta, another uh, departure from the traditional design. It's got a couple different uh, elements you may recognize on it, but it's basically a uh, prototype heavy fighter. Cool. There's a lot crammed in there. There is no interior on this one, which is very unusual for our ships. <laughs> oh, as with prototypes, sometimes they are not manned. Excellent. So it's what was the name? The Delta One. The Delta One. Okay, moving on. The, the Battle Cat. <laughs> yes. That's a neat nickname. It's kind of like it Thunderbolt called? or something. This is the Thresher. The Thresher. Obviously, it looks a bit like a saber toothed tiger, and he's got a turret on his back. <coughs> Zoid. Transformer fans, Zoid fans. You know. Trying to stay on the cutting edge of Max. Everybody's making so many good ones. I figured do something different. Mm. Moving on. What's this one? Oh, by the, the way, I'm not saying as, as I'm moving on. Just you know, we just got a lot of ships to look at. But yeah, we've seen this in a previous video. Can't remember which one. I don't think it's had a proper review, but it is awesome. So. Yep, that was the uh, stream actually. Ah, it was on the live stream. Yeah, that didn't get saved. We'll have to do another one of them soon. Right. Here's the carrier from Planet Wars. What's the name? The Rigel. The Rigel. Fitted with a complement of two fighters. Uh, sorry, One of X. which got a little too excited and embedded itself in the ship. Oh yeah, that's right. He's uh, itching to get going, I think. Right, next 
We've seen this one as well in a previous video, I believe. The Meteor. The Meteor. The Bomber Fighter. And then over here, we've got our Dog Fighter. Whoops, the I Comet. I just hit something. Oh well. You're good. You're fine. That's it. There's the Comet. A little bit of a note on the Comet. I want to I wanna ask you guys, answer in the comments anywhere you want. Is it famous yet? Because I want it to be famous. I'll give you more of them for free. <laughs> That's the fighter giveaway from Dalmont. Comes in several colors. Right, what's next in the line? The Brigand. The Brigand. Ah, uh, this is the I'm one sure. that was causing trouble. Oh, yes. Weren't they well. set as pirates and they were uh, killing everyone? Isn't well, right? they weren't mm -hmm. killing everyone, they were just killing people who were unprepared. Ah. I was actually, it's underpowered woefully, uh, designed to be a pirate in the spirit of the Ascent. Yep, yep. So how, does it, how is it underpowered while we're, on this, while we're looking at it? Uh, the firepower on something this big could be really, really painful. Uh, so to avoid that and just have another cool looking space frame, I gimped it purposely. So it sh it's got a lot of shields, but uh, it can definitely hang around for a while, but it doesn't, uh, sh doesn't hit for a lot. Yeah, the guns are small. Okay. Dalmont, I would like to note that about four or five of those can pretty much take my cruiser down. <laughs> oh wow. <coughs> yeah. yeah. This this thing has become a bit notorious. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this, the comet can famous. take one on. <laughs> this this is a famous little ship, but only because it's uh, successfully griefed many people. Yeah. So then. And come to think of it, I haven't spawned in the explosive instance yet. Uh, Oh. Gotta do that. <laughs> oh, make sure you do that. Right, so here we are with... Set the pirate. What's this one? This is the... Uh, I think it's the Isis, yes. The Isis. Featuring Captain's a yacht. glass bottom. And a glass roof. Captain's yacht. Uh, should we check out... I think we actually side? took a... I think, well, it might as well. I think this one's in a previous video too, but... Uh... Oh, really? Let's have a quick look-see. Oh yes, I remember this one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice. Captain's Two of those yard. chilling on the Ethereus if you need one. Sweet. Am I moving this way now? Yeah, I think I am. Right, yes. what's this one? This is the SFW Maverick, and this was actually done by uh, Evangelion01. Okay, excellent. He can't be with us, but yep. we miss him. And, uh, you know, like I say, some of these reviews take place quite late, and he's a uh, UK time zone, so... Excellent shit. Lovely hangar. <clears throat> What's in there? Nothing. But it does look pretty cool. Yeah, there's room. There's ample room for a big mech, though. Yeah, I think that was the uh, general idea. There's actually a second version of this that's uh, not yet complete. Hmm. Just gonna take a quick look, see here. Very nice. If we ever get around to it, there's a couple of Zero ships that are recolored in SFW libraries if we wanted to check those out someday. They're part of the fleet, they're getting done. So, and then next we have the airship. <clears throat> ah, the Death Race Blimp, yes. Death Race Blimp. Does it have a name other than that? Uh, it's, it's the Death Race Blimp. thought so. Nice engines. I'm quite fond of a little fan design. I wish I could do more, uh... Traditional ships. Do some more steampunky stuff, that'd be cool. What's the name of this one here then? This one is the Dirge. It's the third iteration, uh, mostly because it was done entirely in survival, which is a rarity for me. This looks like if Dalmont did his <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. I, I basically ripped one apart and made this. It does. It's a little bit wider. Not longer, only on account of the guns. <laughs> Pretty much, it's, yeah. It's got a lot of guns. Is it uh, stable? Oh yes. Well, at least it was. It was. It was yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, maybe not anymore, but still, looks awesome. <laughs> okay, so what's next? This is actually a turret, but it's I think my favorite turret. It's the uh, Silvano wing turret. 
and it started to feature on a couple of the uh, newer ships, like the uh, Sorry, combat version of the series. This, this here is the Sylvana wing turret. Hang on a sec, I just need to... Uh... <laughs> uh... Anyway. I think that Texova features two of these. That is correct. I don't know. It's not a ship, but it looks cool. <laughs> Tasty turret. Yeah, it's okay. You've got lots of ships. I'll, I'll uh, you know, we slide past all the turrets, you know, because they're just on the ship. So it's fine. Especially if it's just the one, and you know, that's cool. It is a nice looking turret, though, you know what I mean? <clears throat> So then, which way do I go now, boss? I need to back down the line. Back down the line. Here so we we've go. done from small, medium. Now we're getting into slightly large. Medium plus one. I'd say we're getting into the mediums now. Well, here we are. What's this one? This is the Darwin. The Darwin. We looked at this in a previous video. Lovely ship, tasty, an absolute beauty. Okay, and next to it, the Ceres. Yep. I'm, I'm still happy you remember that one. <laughs> oh, mate, I like it, I like it. Ceres is a cool name. Also in a previous video, but uh, a really nice, in spacious interior. And if I'm correct, we're going to be seeing a lot more of this ship. Yes. Yeah. Spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> and then next to it, from Planet Wars, this is the Orbital Bombardment ship. Yep, the Renaissance. Originally, it was designed to be something else, ended up being terrible at it. We're going to see the ship this is actually built to replace. And uh, instead, it's orbital bombardment. With a garden? With a garden. Because, I mean, you gotta... Yeah, you gotta have Zen when you're destroying the universe. I, I must admit, watching the planet explode from the Zen garden is pretty sweet. <laughs> right then. What's next in the line? Ah, uh, we've seen this before. Who's this? Issue? Yes, this is Bezers. It is the uh, LSS Nova. Apparently the Mark IV, but he's done a version in SFW colors for us, added it to the fleet. It's hardened everything, and like plex door shields and everything. It's very nice. I remember looking at this ship in an earlier video again. However, this one was obviously not in the fleet colors at that point. So this is look, this looks really tasty now. You know, it's, it's quite chunky in this black and crystal color scheme. Very nice. Special mention goes to the top. I love the antennas on these. Right. That's quite clever how we did that. Right then, what's this? This is the SFW Vexus. It does have a mild interior. It's more of a combat ship. This is actually what the Renaissance was designed to replace and failed miserably at. Uh, oh, this man. is the uh, heavy fighter. It's like the next step up from the Comet, basically. Looks like uh, one of those Cylon ships. Doesn't ring a bell, but I have to check that out. Although yours is a bit tougher looking. Yeah, the Cylon ships are a bit skinnier. Yeah. Nice turn, yeah. bro. Okay, where to? Feel next? free to. Oh, I thought you were going to come in. Oh, there's an interior. Hang on. Uh, of course. Hit the brakes. Maybe coming in underneath the turret. Yep. Oh, oh someone fell out. That was me, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> fell out of my own ship. What is yeah, this? No, I've amounted to nothing my whole life. Don't worry. I was killed by my own ship oh, earlier fly. today. Yeah, I heard about that. I think I saw it in the logs, too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty basic little lounge area back here, but what do you expect from a heavy fighter, right? Yeah. It's got storage. Got storage, bro. Got, storage. got a neat little thing up there. If you come up with a name for it, let me know. 
Well, behind you and above. Back up. Back up. There it is. What is so that? I'm having to push up to do that. Right. What? Well, what's what? What that thing on the wall? Yeah, I have yet to come up with a name for it. Usually, everything has a name. Hmm. The thingy. The jigger. It's um, for strapping your enemies to. Ooh. It's a magnet. Interrogation oh, magnet. Yeah. <laughs> Just strap them up there and be like... That's positively devious. Tell me the coordinates of your faction home base. And, uh... Oh, the ship. Oh, never mind. We'll <laughs> see it later. Right then. What's next? Okay, now we are going up in the line as, uh, once again, back to the right. Who am I following? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Up and to the right. Here we go. And we're going to start off with the Allegro. Yeah, the Texova failed miserably, taking two of these on. Nope, those were the Adrestias. Oh, okay, so the Allegros were defeated, okay. Yep. Ooh, the Allegro's very close to that other ship. They're actually clipping. No, they're not. Nope. But they, they should be. Why are they not? These the hanging lines not clip. Nope. No they don't. Nope. Either way, it's, lucky. Just, it's not even touching it. Those are like so close. Big one is... <laughs> Truly fantastic. <clears throat> this Quite one impressive. has a mild interior as well. I, I do say mild. It's a bit watered down as this was actually the prototype for the series. Alright. This is basically where I said, hmm, if I put the hull on it in this way, will it look cool? And the answer was yes, it does. Pretty much. I think this one looks a little bit like the Planet Express ship. Oh yeah, it does. It is kind of boatish. And the f it's got the fins. And then the door is inside the engines down here. And the fuselage. Hooray! Oh, and I'm in. Oh wow, yeah, that is a spacious interior. I can see this is like the early beta. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's not even much on the bridge. No, I see. I may come back and refit this one day. Yeah, it's a nice view though. You got another look. He's got another torture magnet here. You've got a problem, mate. You need to watch that. <laughs> All of his ships. I never noticed them until now. <laughs> He's evil. <laughs> They're all now complete with torture magnets. Excellent. I knew there was something sinister about these ships. <laughs> right then. Where's my core? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, it's really good at hiding those entrances. Yeah, that's it is, yeah. It is a skill, isn't it? <sighs> so there we have some epic turrets on another epic ship. The name of the ship was the Allegro. Allegro. And now we. Move and if we on. ever, uh, oh. If we ever, if, sorry. It was, I was going to say if we ever get around to the uh, actual planet. Yeah. Um, those are actually the planetary defense turrets on the Allegro. Very good. Planetary defense turrets on a ship. Also, those are the Mark I version of the Sylvana wing turret. It does look like an early generation of your later designs. It's got like the features, but macro. <laughs> right then. And now we move on to Got this. It. The next ship. The Altair. Which we looked at in a previous video. We spent quite a bit of time with this ship. A previous feature length video. You know what? You were building this while I was building the Cataclysm, weren't you? That is correct. And there it is. The Altair. I like this ship. It might just be the engines. It might be the turrets. It might be the little... It's got a full bar in it. Yeah, it's, it might be the bar. 
There's lots Quick. of things from the magnet. Magnet. Yeah, where's the magnet? Are you in there? Can you find it? Is it That's there? a new sport. Uh, find the magnet. No, don't see it. Don't see it. It's not in the bar. Uh, let's check the rest of the ship. I'm looking right. I'm gonna go into build mode. Get the advantage here. Uh, yeah, it looks probably. like it might have been there, but there wasn't enough roof space. I think it might be up. Yeah. Actually, not in the middle. Missed eh? two of them. <laughs> We've missed two of them. What? I mean, there's two of them. What in the bridge? Oh, in the interior. You'll see them. Um, but but you have to be clever. Oh, not I see the, him. Not in the corner. <laughs> Ghost, have you found him? <laughs> yeah. I I'll let them look for it. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. Or is they'd be ruining the fun. Well, you know what they you know what they say about <laughs> the best place for hiding something, right? In yeah. front of you. Usually, right in front of you. I can't see him. Oh, no. Actually, I found a third, even. I found oh, one, yeah. You found three of them. He does this without even knowing it. Yeah, it's a subconscious desire to create interrogation magnets. Mine's this one's kind of hidden, though. And slow killing. See, I can't find any of them. <laughs> you, you see the blue uh, three of them? tower in the very middle of the ship? Oh, yeah, I didn't think because they were around um, something. The glass. I didn't think that yeah. Oh. Yes. I wasn't counting those. Yeah. And then there's one back here. Well, that's on one, the, definitely. Uh... This, one's, this one's a little brutal. It's got wedges. Yeah. Where is that? The one I'm sitting on top. Between the med, med bay and the Oh, yeah, bay. there it is. <laughs> See, I never would have spotted it because of the wedges. Yeah, right outside that. the med bay so they can heal whoever it is. <laughs> keep, yeah, keep bringing them back. Keep bringing them back to life. <laughs> Nice. I like your cr crew quarters area. I like how you just went through there with a core. <laughs> <clears throat> right then. So the name of the <laughs> ship is the Altair. Let's move on to the next one. This one is the Adrestia. This ah. is actually the uh, Split whole off. reason that the script uh, exists. This okay. is uh, what the shuttle bay was designed to hold. Beautiful. There's one in there, even. Excellent. There's a refit of this that I don't think we're going to get time to take a look at, but you'll see that in another video. So. Sweet. And the once again, we have again? the Adrestia. The Adrestia. I think we did look at this in another video, didn't we not? Yeah, we did. And the uh, refit version as well. Excellent. Lots of de lots of detail there to look at. Beautiful. This one's once again ancient history. Just to put the disclaimer on it. <laughs> right then. So, what's this? The Hyperion, the first big ship ever. One of your first builds. There's uh, another older one that I'll have to dig up for you sometime that shows its age a little more clearly even than this. It looks like a submarine hangar in here. That'd be cool. Make a little sub oh, that's what I'm doing next. I have a blimp, I need a submarine. <laughs> I'll make a oh, fighter launching submarine. Very wide open. I think we I think we mentioned it was a bit confusing too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I was like, oh god, where am I? Whatever you do, don't spin the core. <laughs> right then. Moving on. Alright. If we wanna come over to the right What's ghost, this? you can take it away. Alright, um, this is the ca uh, cataclysm. Yep. I call it that because the first versions, I have a story with this, the first versions blew up on engine start because the failsafe would go off, wouldn't go off. <laughs> These are nuclear reactors. <laughs> Excellent. But there is a little bit of an interior. 
if you want to go look. Okay. Now, this ship is not close to being finished, but you can get a sneak peek of what I'm doing. Okay, okay. let's do it. Let's do it. Very spacious. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice call, bro. Yeah, thanks. Now, a power reactor anyway, it's not your core, is yeah. it? Yeah. My core is over here. I, I like the to... core too. Yeah. The power reactors are... Oh, if you look on the white structures on the sides, those are actually the heat, uh, pumping uh, the heat towards the forward vents. From the engines. So, this would be a Mark II version of the engines, and you could also use it as a torture device. Redirect the uh, pipes and <laughs> vent it to that little room. Since we're on the subject of uh, torture devices... <laughs> well, you see, now you have to put in just walls full of death magnets that can be the torture ship. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, we've got a new room, guys. <laughs> yeah. Taking ideas for the core... Uh... <laughs> what? Oh, I just built that because uh, it looks like a heart or yeah. something, or a, or a face. It looks yeah. close to the uh, engineering room I have on the Adaraxia. Oh, I haven't seen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about your core room because I haven't seen it for a long time. Eh, same idea. Subconsciously got in there. Yeah, that's that's that, how you know it's good. Yeah. I like there that. You go. Yeah. And obviously it's designed to have turrets, so how many turrets should it have on it? Oh, I just started placing. Right now it's at... Several. Several. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> it, it's designed to be a multi-purpose, though. It can, uh... D despite inventing uh, radiation, it could be a rescue ve vessel. Alright. Cool, man. Which way am I headed for the next ship, then? Uh, let's go up and to the left, and we'll check out the Texova. Up I count 15 left. turrets on top. What, this top one above us? Yes, the big one. Okay. Yes. And here we are. You saw I have to say, I'm, I'm rather of fond before, of this. Tom. Hey? You saw a basic version of this one before? I think so. It might have been on the screen. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, it was it was after the uh, oh. first uh, SFW um, Ghost no. Legion lineup. SDF. Ghost SDF, Legion. sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was the USS USSR Texova back then. It's now the SFW Texova for this version. And it's pretty. Yes, I uh, I have to thank uh, Dalmont for the most of the turrets. Those black. Uh, Heavy guns are actually Zero's designs. Oh, nice. You've got a mix on here. Yeah. Dalmont's turrets and Zero Sen's turrets. Yep. Mostly Zero, uh, Dalmont's because those big turrets are a pain to duck. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. It took an overpower. Yeah. It took overpoweredness to kill them. Yeah. Which, which is, it, you know, you can't get that kind of power anymore. It's quite funny. Yeah. Ghost uh, crashed, I, I believe. Yeah. Hang on, I'll be back in. Oh, yeah, I've added a couple little SFW details to it. Go ahead. Did you notice the missile racks yet? Yes, I did. I'm going to loop round to them in a sec. <laughs> I'm just getting a glimpse at the back end, because... It's a beautiful ship to get in one shot, but it's a little bit like Spaceball 1. Yeah, it's it's very long and huge. Well, not very huge, <laughs> but it's long. It can, goes you, can, you, can you make a grey version for me? Like a, uh, a, a, change, the, change the white to rock. Right? Uh, yeah, we could. Because I want to do a parody video. It'll be funny. Is there anything in front? Yeah. Uh, the missile tubes are still there. Uh, we, uh, They're just hidden. Yeah, I found the first uh, combat test of the ship without the turrets. The forward missile tubes got blown up quite quickly. So, I had that po point in front. Yeah, that's a lot of missiles. Yes, it's a missile cruiser. 
Oh, and also has a great reload time for those uh, D1000s. We later on we could uh, do s some testing for the uh, turrets uh, for the new proving grounds. I'll think. Yeah. Well, it's got plenty of them. I'm sure it will. Yeah, when we get round to that, it will look good. Yeah, definitely. The two words I would use to describe this ship are flak wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. Artillery supply. Nice. Yeah. yeah, this thing is insane. It took on what, twenty-five? Uh, what were they? It's twenty-five ants. comets. 20 no, you comets? took on like a hundred essence. Yes. Uh, <coughs> uh, two Adrestrias or or four? No, only well, two Allegros and then two Adrestrias are what uh, ended up killing it finally. And well, and then uh, five Vexus. So it had a pretty high kill count before then, before it died. Still got some engines on one of the lower turrets, by the way. Oh, right. I keep forgetting about that. But it also took out, uh, took on a Silvano and survived quite some time. It was an interesting fight. They kept running away from each other. Well, actually, <laughs> Tex Silva ran away. The Silvano didn't care. It just wanted to kill the Tex Silva. <laughs> But I think those uh, Sylvana turrets on the back fit, uh, sit nicely behind the uh, uh, bridge. Which I have to thank uh, Dalmon again. He redesigned the bridge, the engines, and the prow. Is there much of an interior? No, we. I'm planning on making an interior for the ship and the dreadnought because, well, this ship is too long just to have no interior. Yeah, it is. I agree. You, you know, know what, if you just Ghost? had one big tunnel from one end to the other, it would be cool. Yeah. You know what this ship reminds me of now? What? Have you ever played Xenogears? Uh, I don't think so. Have any of you? No. Nope. Ah. It's an old PS1 game. But uh, if you go watch the intro video for it, this ship reminds me very much of that ship. <laughs> Hang on, I just realized, what was this dual barrel gun at the back? Wasn't that on another ship? Yep, that was the uh, Allegro's planetary defense turret. Oh, well. <laughs> this also has one. But it has more point defense turrets, which I may switch out. Yeah, the point defense are actually the uh, mini planet defense turrets. They're the secondary. Yeah. Planetary defense ship. So, what's the next ship then? Which way are we going? <clears throat> Alright, if we go straight down, we're going to hit the Sylvana. It's weird, I can't see it. Oh, uh, you'll see it when you get close. Oh, I see ya. You know, it's funny, if the Texova had more shielding, I'm pretty sure it could take out a Savannah. It's got more turrets. Well, you'll have to save that for the Proving Grounds, won't you? Yeah. So, who's playing music, by the way? Sorry, that's me. Okay, so here's the Sylvana. Um, one of the first ships that Dalmon brought for review, I believe. That's correct. In fact, I think it was the first. Yeah. And um, it certainly grabs your eye with all the different hull details. But I've already spoken at length on this ship in a previous in that previous video. Really nice ship. Yep. Didn't it? Did this one get reviewed by Koto and Sen? Yes, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. Maybe. They missed they missed a few bits on it, but. Uh... This is actually the completed version. We haven't even uh, seen it. Oh really? Well, should we do the interior? Actually, have you seen or... it? Well, I've seen. Yeah. I've seen this, but I haven't. I don't know if you're saying you've changed it. Then what? What do you want to show? Oh me? yeah. Uh, well, why don't we come up to the forward shuttle bay underneath the uh, bow, and uh, I'll show you the improvements. It's not hollow anymore. Mm -hmm. The lava doesn't kill you. 
And, uh... Did you say underneath? We still have a... Sorry, we're at the top yes. hanger, aren't we? Oh, that works too. Oh, really? Oh, hang on. I just yep, it's out. just this little more... Oh, it's, it's fine. You can go to the front one. It's a little more complete if you start bow to stern. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's another one? Yep, 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 yep. I'm just going to it now. Uh, I'm trying to get there, but my uh, little bit of crystal... Here we go. Right, I'm in the... Welcome aboard. It's the probe bay. Yes. Uh -huh, corridor. Whoa. Hey, wait a minute. When they're docked, they look like uh, torture magnets. Yeah. They do. <laughs> I'd recommend uh, gravity for this, and I guess the first place we'll visit is down here, which is the med bay. Nice. Definitely a bit of a throwback. You can tell it's not as advanced as some of the newer designs, but uh, it's been completed at least. Yep. Yeah. I like that door design. That's really interesting when you look from here. Yeah. It is good. It's very nice. Very nice. And there's a couple different ways we can go, but we'll climb up these little ladders right here, I think. Is that the hallway? Yeah, that's the hallway. So we'll pass on the hallway for the moment. Since that leads to the next bit. And we'll go into this back area. Pass on the hallway. Oh wait, that is the hallway. Yeah, okay. Huh? I'm not you... I'm not going crazy. You're good. You're good. Huh? You know my ship better than I do today. <laughs> so like, much what? lost on his own ship. <laughs> here we go. That's the proper hall. Oh, and we're here in the corridors are cool. Uh, the conference room. Ancient though it may be. Oh, very con very nice. We all take our seats. Is there any bouncing off the walls? <laughs> Wait. One on each corner. Very good. Ooh, I like it. Where we don't can't sit. <laughs> Screenshots. Done. Right. Well, off to the rest of the boat. And this time we get to go down the big, 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 big hallway. <laughs> you have to go up to get down, to go left, to go right. <laughs> that should be a theme song. And we arrive at the infamous damage score. Oh yeah. Quiet. Oh, yeah. Why is it damaged? Uh, pirates, actually. Everybody was saying smet it, but no, it was pirates. How, the, how, on this did, they, how did they get in? Oh, it's just on the blueprint. This damaged forever. You need to get a robot down here with a repair beam stat. I should. Yeah, you need to be small. One block. Now, if you if you recognize this room, yep. and you look at the floor, you almost died in here once. Actually, oh, you did. Yeah, I did. I was like, oh, wow, cool room, man. Uh, why am I dead? <laughs> now there's little blue bits on the ceiling. Alright, and we've arrived in the main shuttle bay, and now we're going to go to the rear, which I don't think was there last time. Or at least not as much of it. Coming! There we go. Yeah, I know this bit because I got lost one time looking for the bridge. That being said, there's actually a bridge in this one. But we'll visit that in just a moment. Cryopods. Oh no! Oh, what's going on? Whoa. The ship's being moved. Uh, uh oh. That's probably why I'm I crashed. I'm outside it. Oh, Where's the car? Where's the car? I'm heading back to the door. Hey, yeah. 
The Savannah moving was why it crashed. I don't know why it's moving. I don't know, but I'm running for the core. <laughs> Same kind of symptom that we had in the uh, Intrepid video, probably. Yeah. There we go. Some Stabilized slightly in. too enthusiastic uh, astronauts. Stabilized it, <laughs> hopped out of the core, and I'm outside the ship again. Yeah, I'm just making my way back to the top hangar door. It's open. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. I'm heading to... Where am I heading to now? Oh, I can't remember. Whoa! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! No! Why is the ship moving? I don't know, but it's just a baseball bat at all our cores. Look out the, the window! Oh! <laughs> oh no! What's going this is, on? This is, I'm glad no. I saved this second. This Help is... me! I'm gonna. Oh God, I'm, I'm escaping! The, uh, oh no! What's going on? <laughs> no! It's out of control! Oh. <laughs> What's going on? What is oh going on? Help! Oh no! Oh, no. It's gone rogue! <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, uh, the poor ship's... It's still twitching! Look at the line! Look what it did to it! It's just destroying everything! I am so happy I exported this sector! <laughs> Mate! Oh god! Is someone it's still flying moving. this thing? It's still... Dude, Somebody's getting no, so angry! No one's in it. Oh god! I, I nearly I fell move. off of it! Ah. Oh god! Oh no. What's going on? It's, it's a lie! <laughs> this is trying to shake me off! It's retaliating. Well, what is it, it doing? Going? I don't know. It's trying to. There shake is me off. no one in the ship. This, <laughs> if this is ever used in a bug report, hand to hand, there's nobody in the ship. Oh no! Oh, um, no it's gonna hit the text. Dude, so it's just flying around. Oh no! There's it's, gonna be a ton of lag. It's about to collide with the carrier. We're all done <sighs> for. Oh no! <laughs> That's not good. No, stop! Stop! The shuttles Wait, what? appear to be oh, vibrating. No. How is it? It's collided. It's managed to collide with both of the biggest ships here. At once, the tail end is <laughs> gonna hit the uh, super no, cap. No, it's not gonna hit. I think it Isn't stopped. It? Oh mate, what is going on? That was nuts. Can yeah, someone it's first it, a little bit? First it goes for the tech cell, and now it's just run. trying to kill us all. <laughs> to the oh core. Well, somehow it got its nose above the tech over. It's it's precarious to say the least. Right, we need to get on track, man. Hang on. <clears throat> I mean business. Oh no! Whoa! What the? Alright, I'm in the core. I'm out. Um. Okay, well, good. Now you're just touching your text. I'm hopping out. Then. How in Whoa. the heck? How did it get there? Shut up, bro. Oh, it's twitching again. Are you moving it? Yeah, he's, yeah. he's in it now. Watch out, mate! You're about to collide. You're about to collide. Above, you're like it put you between three huge ships, and it's just like, yeah, deal with that. I'm gonna grab my shuttle and then I'll move the uh, cataclysm. You were in between a hard place, a rock, wait, a rock, hard place, and a lag. Yup. So, whereabouts is the Sylvana? Where's the Sylvana going? I don't know. But I'm that just was... setting it where it is. We've moved well over a uh, thousand meters. Really? I just hopped out to grab my shuttle and I teleported about a thousand meters straight up. Right, right, well, right. where's the next ship in the lineup? Because we have two more left. Yeah. Okay, so here we are, and we're going to be taking a look at the last two ships in the lineup. That would be Sirius and Sirius 2. So here they are, proud ships, mighty, if you might say. Oh. Proven in combat again and again. So the Sirius being the one on the left, which I'm looking at now, which has got the larger tail. We've already shown this ship in many videos on the fleet channel. And then the Sirius 2, which I did look at one time, but I haven't seen so much of this one. The interior is uh, virtually identical, so we won't have to go over that, but uh, this one sports a third turret. Ah, that's Removed right. both hangar bays, increased the uh, storage capacity, upgraded the turrets, and uh, gave it new uh, new paint. And I suppose the guns may or may not be a little more powerful. <laughs> may or may not. 
the sly dog. So there we go. That's pretty much the fleet. Are there any ships not present from this lineup? Uh, there's the orbital structures, but you guys are going to see those anyway. And uh, I suppose there's probably some odds and ends hanging around, but if I come across them, we'll bring them forward. Yeah. So this you've, one... got, you've got no more fleets just tucked away then, yeah? <laughs> well, well, for now. Ready to just, just to spring on me. <laughs> hey, tomorrow, a... surprise. There's the other one he hasn't spawned in. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I, well, I've got this sector, you know. Uh, could, if you are leaving for good, could you leave the uh, server up running for a few, for a little while? Oh, I'll leave it on so? while I'm gone. Oh, okay. So we can do some weapons testings of some stuff and things, or have just have some. Just fun. don't break it. <laughs> Trust me, if I break it, you can uh, definitely destroy any of the work in progresses. If you uh, want to see. Server some really cool alternate colors. Let's see if I can find this. There's a red, black yeah. Hyperion. Oh, this there's, kind of there's another one. The, this kind of reminds me of the color scheme of the uh, Chaos Breaker. Yeah. Hmm. Where is it? You'll love it. Very basic ship, but that was a very cool looking ship. The Chaos Breaker. Oh, I've got to find it. You'll like it if I can find it. <laughs> oh, no more. That's not it, but you can look at it in the meantime. Oh yeah, the What's up? Hop in for a second, take a look at the weaponry on this. I will in just a minute, I'm trying to figure out where in the world... Ah, black and white Sylvana. Looks great next to the Sirius. Uh, after that, could you give give me your opinion on this ship design I have over here? Uh, yeah, we can do that. The Arizona? Yeah, the Arizona too. It's gonna look very much like a like a ship. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, a seaworthy ship, yeah. Yeah. All right. I hope you're ready for this one. I'm ready. I'm waiting. Uh oh. And here she is. The safest place to be is inside this collision box, I think. Right now. Whoa! Happy birthday, folks. Where is it? Oh, wow. wow. Interesting colors. This one is positively mean. Oh, man, that looks What's beautiful. the difference? Just the color. Uh, red, as far as you well, know. <laughs> red, red ones go faster, you know. No also turrets. has no turrets. That's easy, he shakes the ball. Does that have a bulge on it that it doesn't have on the main ship? This one actually lacks the bulge. Do you know, it, ah. this actually is easier to distinguish parts of the ship with this color scheme. If you yeah, see, I mean, personally, it, oh, I, I see like the inverted. You You've inverted it as well. Okay, you need to make the text over in this color scheme. The great <laughs> scheme, colors, good. It'll look absolutely evil then. Do you know what this reminds me of though? Hmm. It reminds me of Outlaw Star. <laughs> A little bit, <laughs> yeah. Just because of that big old nose. But yeah, it reminds me a little of Outlaw Star. Alright guys, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Cool. Alright. All right, later, man. Yep. I'm like flipping through the catalog, saying if there's anything I missed. Oh, I don't have enough credits. Just do a load. Since we're doing amalgamations, Mirage. This is the Mirage. Oh, look at it. Yes, done by zero. And repainted into SFW colors. <laughs> Uh, these gunships. Something the black with white accents would look nicer. <laughs> these gunships are funny. <laughs> they literally are gunships. Let's see. What's that? An ACOG? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a that's a reflex light. 
Oh, is it? Reflex. Yeah, except it's mounted backwards. Oh, right. <laughs> Whatever, it looks awesome. It's real nice. Right then, well, I think that's pretty much every single ship, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this to a close. I'm going to thank you guys for being here for the commentary, um, and uh, just thank everybody for watching this, because it's a bit of a long one. I will be splitting it up into smaller videos, and if you watched it all the way to the end, please type bacon in the comments. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.